neutral zone. Donovan lost a handle on the puck. It'll be Barnes fanning on it himself. Now Weber picking it up. He'll send it down deep and go off for a change. Remsen on the four check. Jennings gets there first. He wraps it around over to a Zach Ostrowski who had the only goal for Long Beach in yesterday's game. Barnes canceled out by Skeens. Here's Misha Mishar. Off the boards, he connects with Skeens. Skeens top of the circle. Across for Mishar. Didn't have much of a pass, and then Mishar, a backhander, goes wide. Now Skeens. Back for Madsey. Across to Barry. Franklin Barry scored his first goal as a Danbury Colonial in last night's game. It was the ninth goal. Jack, I'm not sure if we've gotten that excited for the ninth <laughs> goal in a game in a while. Absolutely, with that scoreline, I mean... Everyone, even on the ice, was was applauding the efforts of Franklin Berry. Had some post-game comments on the Danbury Colonials Instagram just saying how proud he was of his teammates for a, a good, complete 60 minutes played up to full potential. And then he kind of chuckled and said, I'm happy I got my first goal, too. That well, was pretty cool. Well, he'll get that puck at practice this week. I know he's already looking forward to it. And he'll chase after his puck as it's settled down by Booz. Almost two minutes gone by here in the first period. Still no score between these two teams and no icing as linesman Marty Heiser. 3-40 and 2 record compared to Danbury's 20-22 and 1. So it's been some tough sledding for Long Beach and yet beginning the game yesterday, they took it to Danbury. Danbury hasn't been able to find the back of the net yet. No, absolutely. And you're just seeing it's, it's a much better start from them. Just their overall matching the intensity. Again, this team, they're not necessarily... You know, there, there are moments where they have some strong play. They're really good on, on both ends of the zone, and it's, it's when the games are tight like this, in a scoreless game, in a 1-1 game. Remsen with the shot, Brillaud with much stronger in the net, a little bit more confidence there for the goaltender. Well, it's good to see the confidence back after, like you said, the quick yank in yesterday's game. Danbury ended up putting 56 shots on goal. Here's Remsen using his big frame to shield off a couple sharks. Late call coming up. Remsen, a sharp angle attempt saved by Brolard. Another shot goes wide. Off the bench, Kyle Mack and any extra attacker on, but that will result in a whistle eventually. And Danbury has time for about one more offensive rush. I like the way that Colby Donovan started this game. He looks 100%, Zach. Doesn't look like there are any issues with him. Played well last night, picked up a goal. Misha Mishar into the zone. At the goal line, his pass goes through the stick of Wojciechowski. Madzi keeps it alive. Two seconds and one. We're back to five-a-side hockey, and yet again, the Long Beach Sharks have killed off a Danbury power play. Yeah, keeping everything to the outside, making Danbury players make mistakes with the puck and just staying at home, keeping their form. Not a lot of you know, mistakes that Long Beach are making right now on the penalty kill, and that's why Danbury's been shut down. Madzi from the blue lines, glove is off against Stephen Hines. Also, for those of you wondering what $400 stick Stephen Hines has, it is, what was that, a Bauer ADV? ADV. ADV. So, for you parents at home who want the latest, greatest stick that literally has a <laughs> hole in it, now you know it's a look Incredible. for. Four hundred dollars for a stick. You know, I had a my stick with a hole in it. I exactly. You don't even get the whole stick on the Danbury power play. That was before all the orange paint showed up. Here. Yeah, that is true. That was really the initial stages of of the hockey renovations. A lot more happened with concession and uh, the, of course, the introduction of a rabbit hole, which has been such a great place to hang out. Watch the Colonials when they're on the road. Watch the hat tricks when they're on the road. Catch your XFL football. Now we're talking. McEnany a shot in and out of the glove of Brolaud and Skeen saw it for just a... Make that save and then fall on the rebound. Don't let that puck loose in the blue paint area. Really good start to this game for Brolaud. I mean, it's night and day from the day he had yesterday and not a lot was on him too. His defensive breakdowns that had happened and obviously when you score four goals in about five minutes, it's tough to, to deal with that as a goaltender, but... He has really turned it around, and he's playing much, much better tonight. He is playing strong so far, and he sees his team with only 10 seconds remaining on their second penalty as this deflects in on Sam Booz. Booz will leave it behind the net for Kevin Remsen, two seconds and one, and we're back to even strength. So, again, Danbury's power play converting at 50% normally. Can't find anything going against Long Beach, but on a four-on-four -four opportunity, eventually a backhand shot by Kevin Remsen goes over the top of the net. Now Mashar in front, handcuffed by Botwinoff. Botwinoff unable to clear. Gieta 
Trying to force it up further for Hines. Remsen intercepts. Misha Mashar, fans on the first attempt, lost the puck. Here is Hines. Up ahead, Vasquez on goal, gloved by Booz, and they'll have a defensive over here, I'm on air. <laughs> Maverick Skeens on the draw, but Ferraro with the win. Remsen, good job on the forecheck, comes up with the puck. Thought about going back to Wojciechowski, didn't see that option, now Skeens, a pass connects with Mishar. Mishar on his backhand, drops it off for Lefkoff. Lefkoff getting it back from Remsen, they play catch behind the net. Remsen, sides come out the near side. A loose puck on the side. Brolaud had his momentum going one. In just under the 16 minutes that we've played, and he is keeping his team in this game right now. They're not having much success outside of the their own zone, but the success in the zone has all come from their goaltender wearing 31. Here's Kravitz. The defenseman gains the red line and sends it down deep. Vasquez will get there first, but he sees the puck go through the wickets. Gieta in support. Tried giving to Vasquez. Stepping on in is Kravitz. Kravitz still battling in the corner. Wojciechowski, Mishar, Skeens in there wearing Danbury orange and black. Off the glass, connects up ahead with Mishar. Mishar has Remsen as an option. Misha Mishar takes the shot and he misses wide. Samwise Gieta, through the referee's crease, is able to shuffleboard it back down into the Danbury zone. Getting there first is Barry. He rattles it around, but cut off by Vasquez. Now Vasquez a shot, gloved by Booz, and he'll hold on with 309. Quality to have from a friend, but sure, sometimes but reciprocation is a little nice. It'd be nice. It seems like it's a real one-way street with those relationships. 245 to go remaining in the first period. Four players battling for the puck along the wall. Eventually it comes towards the front. Lefkoff sends it off the glass out of or out of the zone. Certainly still in play as Conklin. O'Neill, now Conklin again. Heavy forecheck being put on by Dylan Weber. Remsen's there to break it up. Kevin Remsen, stripped from behind by Barnes. O'Neill, through the neutral zone. Tries feeding across for Barnes, knocked away by Lefkoff. Weber comes up with the puck in the corner. Three on two developing for Danbury with 2.05 to go in the period. Here is Weber, across for and Remsen once again. Up front for the orange and black. Back to Franklin Berry. Sent down low, Valenti. Garcia. Remsen takes it away, but then his shot's deflected on over for space. Here's Dylan Weber. Intercepted by Will Space again. Sent back down deep. And Jack, you know, we didn't see much of Will Space in the first period of yesterday's game. It seems like he's back to his normal amount of ice time. Absolutely, and he, he's a huge factor. He's picked up a couple goals against this side. Here's Remsen trying to take the shot. That gets deflected wide. You know, a couple goals, and he has the game winner for the one victory that Long Beach has over Danbury. Yeah, he's going to be an important factor in this game. Shot by Skeens. And it's hockey. <laughs> Long Beach having some real trouble getting over to the Danbury side of the ice. One minute now remaining on the power play. Now across the red line here is O'Neill. Stick handling through the neutral zone. Gains the blue line. Tries feeding in the long further for Barnes. Given back. O'Neill intercepted by McEnany. Not out of the zone. Remsen unable to clear either. Shot goes wide. Off the kick plate. Lefkoff will pick it up. Lefkoff spins away from a pair of four checkers. Just trying to get his stick onto the puck. Whiffs on the clearing attempt, and O'Neill chips it down further. Nobody there except Kyle McEnany wearing the orange and black. McEnany, he is unable to clear either. 30 seconds to go in the power play. Here's O'Neill back up to the point. Valenti, top of the circle. A drive, misses high and wide. Now Conklin along the near side half wall. Given down low into the Zamboni corner. Madzie and Conklin come together. A pair of captains going at it. First time we've been able to say that this year. Barnes now picking up the loose puck after Conklin blew a tire. Ostrowski trying to come out of the corner. He's taken down on the play. It's another delayed call coming up against the Colonials. Madzi finally is able to get possession. Perhaps it doesn't. Well, well it's see. tough when you start on two power plays or two penalty kills. It'd be nice if it was two power plays. Well, at least for the Danbury yeah. fans. Here is Valenti with 13 seconds to go in his power play. Valenti looking to clear the puck out of the zone. Gives instead to Conklin. And then Conklin's pass to nobody in particular is cut down by Franklin Berry. He'll send it down deep. Two seconds and one. And mercifully, we are back to five-a-side hockey. 
Just about four minutes gone by here in the second period. one nothing your score between the Danbury Colonials and the Long Beach Sharks. Zach McGinnis alongside Jack O'Mara. Thank you so much, folks, for joining us as the regular season is drawing to a close. Here's Kevin Remsen, top of the circle. His shot saved by Brolaud. The rebound in danger. They score! Cole Madzi! I always thought it looked silly because you got a shaft at the stick. It's not straight. It's <laughs> Thank you. About six minutes gone by here in the second period. Danbury with the 2-0 lead. Garcia up ahead for Valenti. Valenti, the defenseman, will bang one in from the red line. No icing on the play. Franklin Berry, one hand on his stick, clears. Sent back down. This time, Booz will settle it behind for Madzi. Still delayed offside, so Will Space has to touch up. A long pass intended for Donovan was poked away by Doan. Donovan will go off for a change. And you see Kevin Cunningham and, and his Colonials kind of use every play in the playbook, those long stretch pass. When you find one that works against a, a challenging team in the playoffs, you can kind of ride that. That's exactly it, because with the playoffs coming up, you want to be warm, you want to... Mm -hmm. You want to have that comfortability. Here's Garcia with a three on two. Misses high and wide. Off the glass. Ends up on the stick of Kevin Remsen. Remsen fans on the initial pass. Now stopping. Looking. He'll flip one. That goes off the glove of Valenti. Onto the stick of Misha Mashar. Mashar has Maverick skeins in front of that Sends it in front. It goes off the glove. Or rather off. Go all the way down. No icing on the play. And it's the first time that we have said Trevor Payne's name so far this weekend. Madzi. D to D across for Franklin Barry. Barry, the noted goal scorer, trying to get the puck out of the zone. Gets as far as the red line. Madzi, too far for Remsen. This goes all the way down. No icing on the play is Brelaud. Reverses to the far side. Getting there first is Franklin Barry. Sent through the top of the slot. Now Barry still down deep. Gets the puck again. Drops off Mashar. Even further back, Skeens. Skeens across for Lefkoff. Lefkoff with the shot. He scores! It's through traffic either way. Danbury's able to add another goal to their total. And Lefkoff, two goals in two games. That's not bad. What is bad is the hooking call. Danbury blue line. O'Neill got his stick uh, caught in the Zamboni corner mm -hmm. in the first period. Really don't want to see what the third period brings for him. Valenti's shot goes well wide. If anything, I'd, I'd bring out your practice stick or your, or your backup just in case. <laughs> At this point, why not? <laughs> Ten seconds to go in the power play. Sent all the way down by Madzi. It bounces in on goal, and Brelaud will hold on. Barnes, shorthanded, provides some pressure, as does O'Neill. We have not seen O'Neill and Ferraro out together as a penalty-killing unit yet. Here is Cope with 23 to go in the power play. Block shot, bounces over to Maverick Skeens. Now Remsen trying to settle it down. Saved by Brolaud, but the rebound's still loose. 15 seconds to go on the power play. Madzi across for Remsen. Remsen a shot. Saved by Brolaud. Kevin Remsen scored two goals from that area yesterday. I'm just about to say he loves that spot, whether it's the one time or the wrist opportunity. Just didn't get that shot off the ice, so it was an easy save for Brolaud to make. And then here you go again. Danbury unable to convert on the power play. Gieta out of the box. Danbury 0 for 3 with the man advantage, but they have the 3-0 lead. Three and a half to go in the second period. Three, 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 three. <laughs> I figure if you're going to wear out a number like that, you might yeah. as well go for it. And then keeping the second best power play off the scoreboard in today's game. How about that effort there for Colby Donovan on the penalty kill? Draw the penalty. Well, good effort by Donovan. 14 seconds to go in the period. Maverick Skeens will chase down this puck as he outraces Ostrowski. He wraps one around the glass. Conklin keeps it in. Four seconds left to go. Conklin's drive goes wide. Stepping in at the point is Kravitz. Sent all the way down. 20 seconds to go in the power play and another weird bounce off the corner and well with Danbury in no rush to leave the zone looks as though Long Beach will have killed off the fourth Danbury power play. Yeah, it's an abbreviated one but really just that one chance from Wojciechowski and that was as the penalty was expiring. Turned over. Barnes into the corner. Now Wojciechowski. We're back to five aside hockey. A minute 40 into this third period. Ferraro sends it back into the Danbury zone. Wojciechowski will have to go back and retreat. On him is Garcia, but Wojciechowski leaves it in the corner for Madzi. Madzi up the wall, off the stick of Botwinoff. Now Maverick skeins. Skeens a shot, saved by Brelaud. It's still loose. There's the whistle. Brelaud. Far side post. So it's much easier for either A, Brelaud to kick it aside, or B, what he actually does is stop the puck and then cover it for the faceoff. 
Maverick Skeens, a converted defenseman. He had an ankle injury, was out for about five, six weeks. And head coach Kevin Cunningham moving Maverick Skeens up as a forward. And, you know, not for nothing, Skeens, this line, it's worked out pretty darn well since it started. Absolutely. He, he's been a very, very good addition to this line between Mashar and Remsen. They built up some good chemistry between the three of them. And they're, they're going into uh, really a balanced line. Remsen's a lot more of the physical body, can bring some presence in there. Mashar, much more skill. And then Skeens is kind of that in-between kind of player. He can play the body, play a physical game, but also bring his shot and, and his passing. A very skillful player as well. Will be Donovan, one on three into the zone. He takes a heavy hit at the blue line. It stays on side. A shot by Weber is kicked aside by Brillaud. Remsen, down low Weber. And this goes through everybody all the way down the ice. Sam Booz with his paddle down will leave it behind his own cage for Connor Lefkoff. Yeah, great stick handling there for Donovan, but he pays a heavy price there at the blue line. Does get the puck in, though, and Weber gets a nice shot on goal. Now Maverick Skeens forcing the turnover, his shot into the glove of Rallaud. But again, we took Rister, gets the offensive zone draw, and you see this line out there again. I mean, they're, they're quick shifts. A uh, shot by Misha Mishar as I'm surprised. Got away with one last night. Maybe this is the uh, the redemption. Perhaps. Misha Mishar, another shot, another save by Brillaud. Skeens on the rebound, sent it wide. And then we have a whistle as if he needed to readjust, it didn't move much. No, it, not sure if it moved at all, but either way, back under uh, underway. It's Madsy sending it all the way down. Brillaud will stop it behind his own net. Conklin from behind that cage. Gives along for Gieta. Gieta off the wall and out of the zone. Loose puck at center ice. Picked up by Kevin Remsen. He finds Maverick Skeens. Skeens manages to go through a couple defenders. Picks up the puck in the corner. Skeens tries swinging one towards the net. Ends up in the skates of McGrath. Now McGrath sends it into an empty area. Getting there first for Long Beach is Ben Jennings. He's met by Mashar. Hines in support. But up the wall for Gieta. Gieta with the opportunity to clear. He gets it over the blue line. Remsen's able to poke it off his sticks. Hines in support. Has that knocked away by Mashar, and Danbury will get a change. Brooks cancels out the high stick. Here's Maverick Skeens with the rest of his teammates changing. Skeens, puck on his backhand, goes off the boards. Mashar, a sharp angle attempt, goes off the side of the cage. Now Mashar, a centering attempt for Remsen, gets deflected out of the zone. A lot of action there on the left side of your screen today, and especially in this third period. Danbury just pouring it all on. Not necessarily a ton of shots on goal, but it's just the possession time. They're wearing down the, the clock here. They're wearing down the Sharks, trying to complete yet another victory in this series. A uh, one-timer by Remsen was fanned upon. I think he had his stick lifted by Matt Doan. Now Kyle O'Neill picks up Barnes. Barnes along the goal line. A wraparound attempt. Sam Booz with the save and Long Beach with their first shot on goal in this period. Yeah, some good energy from Barnes today. A couple of times he's made those moves around the net. Good skating speed. And then Booz just beats him to that far side post and a nice strong save with the right pad. Now turned over, Barnes a pass to the slot. He went through his legs for that one, but nobody wearing blue and white at home. Now Remsen a drive, he scores! Ke You're gonna try to pick him on a couple of stretch passes here just to try to open up your offensive game a little bit. You have to try something at this point. You've exhausted all of your options. You haven't had a ton of time. Get your Now they've looked for him on the stretch pass. Maverick Skeens on the draw, up against Stephen Hines. Hines wins it. Remsen manages to pick up the loose puck. Now Mashar sends one off the mask of Brillaud. Get him a couple Advils <laughs> after that one. Left cough. Flutters one out of the zone. Mashar throwing the body, separates Hines from the puck. Yeda in support. Now Botwin off with a shoulder to Skeens, knocks him off the puck. Across for Kravitz. Kravitz will dump each end. Chasing after it is Donovan. Jennings gets there first. He puts it right onto the stick of Dylan Weber, whose shot is fought off by Brillaud. Now Weber. Now behind the play. Well, we will skate five aside. They've put penalty time up on the scoreboard. So, uh, well, not sure where the miscommunication was there. I thought that I had seen the referee make the signal for a misconduct which quite honestly would make sense. You got two guys swinging their sticks at each other in a 5 nothing game, give them each 10 minutes mm -hmm. apiece, and, well, you don't have to worry about those two anymore. Yep. Shot from the point, deflected by Skeens wide. McGrath down low, gives to Skeens behind the net. Maverick Skeens. In front, Judson McGrath, a shot is blocked. 
Now Skeens again, Conklin. McGrath sees it goes all the way around. Lefkoff in the neutral zone. Jack, I know you were listening to the public address announcer. Do we have misconducts? Yes, we, we actually have two unsportsmanlike conducts. There you That's go. That's why we have two two-minute minors on the board, but it's strange that the uh, five aside we've kept, and again, they put the time on the board, but hey, we at least we can keep track of when they'll come out of the box. Considering neither player is standing up with two seconds and one, we will not witness history today. So Franklin Barry in the neutral zone for Misha Mishar. Given along Donovan. Donovan into Bashark's end with under four to play. Colby Donovan, a sharp angle attempt. Not sure if Botwinoff got a piece of it or if it went off the side of the net. Now Barry playing it down low, but too far for Remsen. Jennings is there. He manages to clear the puck out of the zone. Madsey will pick it up. Franklin Barry with three and a half to go. Barry again. From the red line, now the blue. He gets it down deep. He'll chase after it himself. So did Misha Mashar, and then both of them turned away from it. Mashar eventually got back on the horn. Donovan covering at the point. Manages to sidestep the check from Trevor Payne. Mashar. Donovan a shot saved by Brolaud. I'm not sure, sure if Mashar actually touched that or if that was the boards helping out. Now Donovan. Remsen. Shot blocked. Kevin Remsen finding himself with a little time and space. Just chips it in on goal. Brolaud will hold on. And we're left off again with Maverick Skeens, a pair of defensemen. Why not? Shot, save, rebound. Another save by Tim Brillaud. That is save number 53 for Brillaud. Now Barnes can't clear. Skeens again. Gives a long Remsen. Remsen with plenty of time and space. Rings it off the cross. Having himself a weekend. And the Colonials, they kick the extra point. It's good. It is. Well, I don't know. Do you kick the extra point? Do you take it from the oh. tee? <laughs> 60 seconds to go in this one. Cole Madsey, pressured by Barnes, goes into the board. Still manages to keep possession of the puck as he tries to flip it past Garcia. Now Garcia along the goal line. McGrath up for Mishar. Back to Madsey, 45 to go. McGrath, he'll flip this one out of the zone over the leaping Kevin Remsen. Conklin 